Hello Book Warriors, this is Joe Reese Books and my name is Joe and today I come at you with a book tag. This is the spider book tag and I was tagged by the bookish spider to do this tag, a tag that he created himself and I will link all his links below in the doobly doo thingy be jig yoke 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 below. So let's get on with it. Number one, Black Widow, most aggressive female character. This one's a bit of a tough one because I'm not sure if either of these characters can be counted as being aggressive but they do kick some serious ass throughout the series so I had to pick two. And that is Katniss Everdeen from The Hunger Games and Sonya I believe from the Dark Magician trilogy. And these are both two trilogies that I really really liked but didn't like the last book in this series and I wanted more in this one so thankfully there is more based in this world. Two. Brown the Clues, most painful three, and that was Bound by Prophecy. I did not like this book at all, and I tried so hard to like it, but no, couldn't do it. Number three, Will Spider, most excited to read, and that will have to be the Mistborn trilogy, because it's been recommended to me by so many people, and I have yet still to read it, so this is on my TBR for June, July, not June, because this is month June, July or August, I'm not sure, but these will be they are soon. Number four, Wolf Spider, but a book that you read in a short period of time. Harry Potter and the Deadly Hallows. I read this book in about two and a half hours. After getting it, I loved it and I cried and I wanted more and I cried some more. No, I didn't really cry, but I, you get the idea. I'm not gonna give any spoilers if you haven't read the book, but there's a very, very early death in this book that doesn't involve a human and yeah, I had a teary moment. Number five, Black and Yellow Garden Spider. And most entertaining book to read or read. And that possibly has to be Game of Thrones on because I know what's going to happen. And I've read season, read season one, watched season one, and yeah, spiders. But it's the only one that I can think of that's intimidating. But I'm making my way through it slowly. So I'm going to pronounce this wrong. But number six is Orchard of Weaver, book with brightest cover. I don't really have any books with bright covers, but I'd have to go with probably the most shiniest when light hits it, and that would be Red Queen by Victoria Aveyard. So that would have to be the only one that's actually anyway bright. Another one I'm going to mispronounce, and that is Arrow Shaped Micriana. Book set on woods. I think I have about four that are, can be set in woods are a forest so I'm just going to start off with the four so I think part of the Hunger Games it can be called as being set in even though it's in a kind of a computerized area but it's also set in around a wood forest so that's one book I have The Park Service by Ryan Winfield which is a brilliant book by the way and a dystopian, futuristic dystopian. It's also based in around a wood or a forest for a certain part of it or most of it, which is makes it kind of different to everything else. The Maze Runner by James Dashner can in a way be counted maybe because they all live in the glade, which is kind of a wooded forest area as well. Maybe it's not, I don't know, but yeah, I'm just gonna choose that one as well because it's interesting. And last and not least is Half Bad by Sally Green, where we have a wood forest scenery as well. Number eight, Green Links, a book you bought because it had a pretty cover. I don't usually buy books that have pretty covers. I buy them because they interest me and maybe because they have an interesting cover. So I'm just gonna pick this book. It's The Fading, which I still have to read. I'm looking forward to read. It's a horror book as well, but this book cover is pretty awesome. I love this cover. So much. I just love, actually love it. I love how dark and eerie it is. But I wouldn't call it a pretty cover, I call it an interesting cover. So yeah. Number nine. Spitting Spider, book that caught your attention and kept it throughout reading it. And that would have to be The Gift of by Elizabeth Bauer. I just love that book. Without a shadow of a doubt, just absolutely love that book. And I cannot wait to read the third book in the series when she releases it. Because I just can't. I just, yeah, I just love it. The series is really, really good by the way, so if you're interested, I will link both books below too. Number 10, False Willow. 
a book with a false hero. I have two that stand out very much on my shelf and that is Harry Potter and Percy Jackson because neither of these want glory. How cool would it be if these two were to do it off? Harry and magic and Percy and magic of a god. It would be pretty awesome. I think Harry might win this one but Percy has a good chance of drowning the sot out of Harry. So it will be pretty interesting. It'd be an awesome crossover actually. Jake Rodden, Rick Graham, get on it. And okay, so that is the book spider tag. And I tag anyone who wants to do this tag, because I thought it was quite fun. And I think anyone with 200 or less subscribers should do this tag because it was fun. Anyone new to booktube should definitely do this tag because you're definitely tagged. But of course I have a couple of people I want to tag too. I'm also tagging two people in this as well because I think they might have some fun doing this tag and that is Steven from Alf Books as well as Sam from The Reading Writer. So you guys are tagged and on that I will see all of you in the next chapter.